everyone! Today we are going to dive into the world of seduction with a book summary of The Art of Seduction by Robert Greene. Now before you dismiss this as just another cheesy pickup artist book, give it a chance because this book is a fascinating exploration of the psychological and social dynamics of seduction and it is one of the most popular titles on the Blinkist app. So let's find out why. So what exactly is seduction? Well, Green defines it as the process of enticing someone, making them feel good about themselves, and building a relationship based on mutual attraction. It is not about manipulation or deceit, but rather a genuine connection between two people. The Art of Seduction identifies nine different types of seducers, each with their unique strategies and characteristics. These nine are the ideal lover, the natural, the coquette, the charismatic, the star, the rake, the siren, the anti-seducer, and the libertine. Now, let's take a look at the seduction techniques each type prefers to use. One key principle of seduction is creating a sense of mystery. People are naturally drawn to what they can't have. So by being a bit enigmatic and unpredictable, you'll keep your target intrigued. This is particularly effective for seducers like the coquette and the rake who thrive on creating tension and uncertainty. Another essential aspect of the art of seduction is knowing how to listen. People love talking about themselves, so by asking open-ended questions and really listening to their answers, you'll make them feel special and valued. This is a tactic employed by the natural and the ideal lover type, who prioritize emotional connection and intimacy. Of course, physical attraction also plays a significant role in seduction. By taking care of your appearance and dressing well, you'll exude confidence and make yourself more desirable. This is particularly important for seducer types like the siren and the libertine, who rely on their physical presence to captivate and enchant. Throughout the art of seduction, Green cautions that seduction is not a one-size-fits-all approach. Different targets have different needs and desires, and a skilled seducer knows how to tap into those desires and fulfill them. Whether it's through emotional connection, intellectual stimulation, or physical attraction, a successful seducer understands the importance of catering to their target's unique preferences. A great way to understand someone else's unique preferences is by understanding their love language. If you haven't checked out our book summary of the five love languages, now would be a really good time. You can find the link in our description. Okay, back to the art of seduction. Remember, seduction is an art form and that it takes time and practice to master. It is not about manipulation, but rather a process of building a connection based on mutual attraction. By learning the strategies and characteristics of the nine types of seducers and incorporating them into your own life, you can become a skilled and successful seducer in your own right. And hey, who knows, maybe you'll even have a few laughs along the way. All right, that was a brief summary of The Art of Seduction by Robert Greene. There's a lot more to know about this, so if you want to go deeper, the Blinks are available on the Blinkist app, so go check them out.